Friday marked the opening game of the 2015 SCAC Women's Basketball Tournament featuring the Shriner University Mountaineers, number four seed, against the University of Dallas Crusaders, the number five seed at the Mayher Center in Irving, Texas. It was a great crowd on hand for this contest uh, for the Crusaders who wore the host school, uh, even though they were showing as the visitors uh, in the stat column. Uh, here's to Main Wright and Brooks Saunders on the big crowd in Irving. Um, kind of something we picked up from uh, uh, Shaka Smart, the uh, head coach at uh, BCU. Um, something he does with his players about reminding them to have calm minds. Um, and that's kind of been our, uh, our motto the last two weeks of the season, just you know, having calm minds. We're going to be in hostile environments. You know, we had senior day at Trinity out of the hostile environment. You know, coming to play University of Dallas. I mean, anywhere you play University of Dallas is going to be a tough. They're a good team. They're tough. I mean, they're always going to bring out the, the, best, the best in you. And uh, we just talked about having that calm mind. Like, you know, conference tournament, people are going to go on runs. It's okay. Just relax, have a calm mind, and then just get back to doing what we do. Oh, it's a really big win for us. Uh, having that home crowd, uh, we don't really get that at home pretty much, I guess. And so having that big crowd uh, going against us kind of mot motivates us more. It motivates me more pretty much to go against them. As the game progressed, Schreiner took the early lead throughout the first half, and they would actually take a 34-29 lead uh, into the half. Uh, a great first half from Brooks Saunders and Kelsey Jackson, while Sammy So of Dallas had a great first half herself with the Crusaders. As we moved into the second half, it would be a back-and-forth contest as the Crusaders crawled back into it and would even take the lead uh, throughout the second half. It looked like it was possibly going to be a win for Dallas as they hit a three with less than three minutes remaining to go up 53 to 49. How yeah, the main thing was just, hey, we got time. We got time. The game's not over. I mean, they're a good team. You know, we just got to keep playing. I mean, there's three, there's three minutes left. Relax. We just got to play. Gotta um, play. Well, we said in the locker room, we talked about how everyone in the stands thought that that was the end of the game, that they had it, and we knew that we, we they didn't have it, so we were ready to come back and... However, the Mountaineers would take it from there, scoring the next nine points to finish the game on a 9-0 run and defeat Dallas 58-53. to The Mountaineers were led by Kelsey Jackson with 18 points on the afternoon with eight rebounds, while Brooke Sanders added 16 points. I mean, those, uh, those girls, I mean, they're just, they're tough. They're tough. They're tough. I mean, when chips are down, those are two girls that you can always count on. Um, I, mean, I can't say enough good things about Kelsey Jackson, just kind of what she's done her whole career here. And, and for Brooke, you know, she didn't get to play last year. She tore ACL, and she was going to be a starter last year. So for her to bounce back off of that, and now she's back home in the North Texas area, you know, you just know that she wants it and wants to be in those moments. And uh, it was just, just, they made the coach look real good. I drew up something out of timeout. I'm sure it, was, it didn't look good when I drew it up, but they made it look good. Side for the Crusaders, Sammy So led the way with 18 points on 5 of 7 shooting uh, from behind the arc, while Sienna Stoa added 10 points. Uh, Shriner University will move on and take on the Southwestern University Pirates, the number one seed. That game will take place tomorrow at 1 p.m. We're just going to have to do what we do best and stop what they do best. Great, great. Good job.